say if you're watching this video, you're trying to figure out how to check your Verizon data usage. And in this video, I'm going to give you two methods to do that. One is through a pound code, which you dial, and another is through the My Verizon app. So without further delay, let's get right to it. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching Whistle Out TV. If this video ends up helping you or you just want to see more content from me, please feel free to subscribe, comment, like, and of course, turn on those notifications. Every little bit helps. So in this video today, I'm going to give you a whistle out how to. In these how to videos, I show you how to do simple tasks that can be kind of confusing because all of the apps for all the carriers are different. So for this video, I am showing you how to check your data usage on Verizon. And let's get to the first method. Now, the first method is with a pound code. Now, you might know what these are. It's just a list of codes in your phone or even on like the Verizon website that you can dial and it will send you a text message or give you a pop-up on screen that will update you on different usages or any different questions you might have through Verizon and other carriers. But for Verizon, this is the pound code to check your data. It is pound three, two, eight, two, that's it, pound 3282. And when you dial that on your Verizon phone, you will either get a text message or a pop-up on screen to give you your data usage for the billing period. Now, this is an easy way to do it. If you just want a really quick overview, you just wanna to know to date in this billing cycle, how much data have you used? How much data do you have left? But if you wanna go deeper into these numbers, if you wanna look at past month's data usage, or you wanna look at maybe hotspot usage, then you have to go through the app and that's where it gets a little bit more confusing. So let's get onto that, which is the second method is using the My Verizon app. Now, there are a few ways to get to your data usage in the My Verizon app. The first way is to use that pound code, that pound 3282 code. It potentially, depending on if you have updated your phone, updated your software, it once you dial that pound code, it will open potentially the My Verizon app and take you right to where you need to go. Now, the other option is to just go through it manually if the pound code doesn't automatically open your app. So what you do is you just go to the My Verizon app. Step one, if you need to sign in, step two. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Now, once you're in this data section, you can choose between all of the numbers on your plan. If it's just you on your plan, then it'll be easy, just one number to choose from. But there are gonna be everyone in your family plan if that's what you have. So you can go in individually and check how everybody is doing with their usage. And then once you're in there, then you can kind of really see breakdowns and very specific app usages and how many texts and calls you've sent. There's gonna be a lot of different breakdowns in there. Now, once you have clicked into the specific number you want to check out, it gives you a basic overview for the billing cycle. If you want to dive deeper into your previous month's usage or anything like that, you can go to view usage details. It's going to be at the bottom of that screen. And then that will show you a running total for the last 30 days of usage. It's not going to be the month before. It's just going to be a running total as you keep going along what your last 30 days have looked like. But in this section, you can also click around and look at previous previous billing periods and stuff like that. But in this section, you can just see a really nice breakdown of where you're spending your most time on network data, what apps you're using the most, and, and information like that. You can also switch to a Wi-Fi tab and it will show you how much time you're spending on Wi-Fi on different apps. So if that is something you're interested in at looking at breaking down, then you can definitely do that. But if you don't need to go that deep, then you can just stay on the front page and see what your data usage looks like for this billing cycle. That's it, that is how you check your Verizon data. Now, if you have an unlimited plan, it still might be important to check your data regularly. So if you're not using all of what your plan offers and you're paying for it, then maybe it's time to downgrade or get a new plan where you can save some money and get more bang for your buck. So even if you don't regularly need to check your data, if it's not like a limited data plan, if you have unlimited, it's still important to kind of monitor your data usage to make sure that you are just getting the best bang for your buck, getting the most out of your cell phone plan. That's it for today. If you need help with other how-tos, I have a playlist up here that will give you all the lots of information on different things you might need to do with your phone with all the carriers. So if you have any how-tos you want me to break down for you, put them in the comments below. I'd love to make some more easy videos for you to follow along with. I'm Sherry Riggs. This is Whistle Out TV.